Good morning from Little Creek Bee Ranch. We uh, want to do a follow-up video. Yesterday we, we made a video about uh, dead bees and kind of what it looked like. Now it was a real simple video of trying to find the old queen inside a mass of dead bees. But what's funny to me, it's it's got huge hits. Now I, I don't understand what the interest is in dead bees, but people are interested in that little video. So we did a follow-up video based upon the interest of that one and there is something I want to show you here now here's a little patch of dead bees and if you'll look real careful what do you see down inside the holes let me take my hive tool now while I'm doing this you see if you can see the queen anywhere and I'm going to move this patch of bees out of the way okay now look in the holes see the bees that are tucked down inside the holes those are called heater bees and they go head first into the hole and disconnect their wings and run their wing muscles to keep warm so it's not the poor little bees have starved and they're down there digging for food that's not what they're doing those are heater bees and they produce the majority of the heat and when they get tired of running their muscles they'll slip out Another bee will slip in and they'll disconnect their wings and run their wing muscles and that's how they create the heat and those are called heater bees. Now they're kind of hard to get out. I've tried tweezers and they're too slippery. I've tried a shop vac. It doesn't work. Uh, shaking them out is the best way I've found. But look at this. What do you see there? See those gold legs? That's the queen. Now, I didn't film this when I did find her in this patch before I started filming, and she was an easy find too because I really didn't think I'd find I didn't think I'd find the second one, but I did. So let's set her over here, and we're going to try to compare her, try to compare her to a worker. For for visual identification, when they're dead, they look a little different. Now see her fuzzy back that that's a worker you're looking at, the fuzzy thorax. And here's the queen. And her thorax is shiny. I hope you can see that. But the way I pick them out is their gold legs. Oops, got a bloody thumb. They're gold legs. And if you put them, I guess what I do is put them like, oops, put them there in the middle of the colony. Now, they just like look like any other bee. But if you look at the legs, see her hairs? on the legs and when the sunlight hits it it looks different than the others yes the thorax is polished you can see the thorax but I'm saying her legs give her away for being able to find her so there's the queen for that little group and we'll set her down over here and we'll put her in our queen jar like we did yesterday we save the dead queens in a little jar of isopropyl alcohol there she goes we'll add more alcohol to it later but we save the dead queens but I wanted to show you heater bees when you see them dead like this you're gonna wonder why are those bees all stuck inside there Poor little bees were looking for food. Well, no, they want food, that's true, but those are bees that heat the core of the cluster and they can disconnect their wing muscles, their wings, and run their wing muscles. So that's what all that is, and they're kind of hard to get out. You gotta shake them upside down. You gotta be kind of vigorous with the frame. But if we get all that out of the way, that's what you're seeing. Those are called heater bees. So that's kind of a follow-up to yesterday's video. Some stuff, you know, people don't normally get to see this. They're keeping bees. I mean, I'm not real excited about dead bees, but yesterday's video took huge hits. So there you go. Heater bees. Take your time. Look for the queen. Get something out of it, you know. Have an awesome day.